Hi Jane. Hello Simon, how We're are you? We're back. We? I know. Because we have... Was it by popular request? It was, I think. Oh, yeah. was it? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, okay. I heard all of your followers, like, demanded us back. Did they? Yeah. How? Why were they telling you? Because they were just so nice, they told me. Okay, fair enough. Um, we're in a new location as well. Yeah. Well, it's uh, actually Jane's house. Yeah, Jane's kitchen. <laughs> Jane's kitchen. We'd really love to pretend it's somewhere swanky. We've got muffins in the, in the oven. Have we? Ah, Excellent. Muffins. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Yeah. We've got the dogs. Yeah, you both the dogs are here. Honey. We'll show them later. Yes. Um, but I think what we wanted to first Are do, you going to show them your dilly? I'm going to show them my dilly. Because uh, I don't know that I'm going to show my honey. Oh, why? I don't know. We've shown dilly before. Do you remember we've had Camera a Camera show, video. maybe. Honey is... Honey. She's not even talking to me. Um, but we thought our first comeback video <laughs> should be just some of our bathroom favourites because we've got Speaking so of comebacks, do you know Debbie Harry is 71? Yeah, and I saw her in Selfridges with not a scrap of makeup on and she still looked really good. Wow. So I've still got something in my eye. Um, where did that come from? I saw it on a news clip. You know that Dolly Parton's 71? Is she? Yeah. Bless. She just released a new book. But she's mostly silicone. Yeah, but that's quite fabulous. I'm not saying it's not fabulous. I reckon Debbie Harry has had a few fillers. But she's got those natural cheekbones that are just so stunning and I don't think you don't lose bone structure, I don't think. Oh, you don't think they're real? Um, no. I literally can't hear oh. this. I can't hear this about Debbie Harry. Right, let's crack on. Bathroom favourites. We're just talking about stuff that we use every day. And yeah. now I have to change up what I use a lot because I have a lot of products to try. So, um, these are pretty, it's a couple of new favourites, but they're actually a couple that are just completely enduring and I would be lost without them. So shall I start? Yeah, you start. First up is my Aborian Solid Cleansing Gel. And that's what I take when I've, that's what I use when I'm, I've had a bath and I just want to do a really sort of luxurious cleanse, but it's nearly finished. I'm really n right down to the end. Need a new but one. you know what I'm going to try is um, Claren, uh, Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Oh, yeah. Because oh, that's good. people still rave about oh, it. And I have amazing. used it. Oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. It it's an like oil. Cucumbery. It's a solid oil. So, what happens so when it you put it. breaks everything down. Yeah, but when you put it on your skin, you just want to massage and massage and massage. And that's always good for the skin. But I'm going to try that. Clinique. Take the day off balm next, which is not an oil balm, it's a proper balm balm, so... Proper balm balm. Balm balm. Um, I just want to first of all show you my amazing wash bag that my sister-in-law made me. Very There's clever. drawstring. And That's it's got so stripes sweet. On the bag. That's like it a bit like a really funky PE kit bag. Isn't it? Yes. Um, and she made me a travel one, so if anyone wants one, let me know and I can get her to get you one. Anyway, I'm going to start with my moisturiser, because obviously that's... What are you using? My, it's, it's the Wild Rose, Corez Wild Rose. Do you know, Corez, I... I where did that brand go? How, where did you even get that? Oh my, it's stopped everywhere. I see it everywhere. I have not seen it. Yes, no. This is the 24 hour moisturising and brightening cream. I literally have spoken about it a million times. Um, it's my favourite ever moisturiser. It hasn't actually, to be fair, made you brighter. Oh, that's rude. Oh, pretty. Yeah, well, it's rose, isn't it? it you know, yeah. You know how I love rose. I'm nearly finished as well. But um, it's quite thick. Oh, um, so that's. But I quite like, I quite like a thick cream okay. on my face. <laughs> so it hasn't made you bright; it's made you thicker. <laughs> Thick and juicy. Uh, anyway, moving on. Yes. You oh, oh, okay. The second one. Right, this is quite new, and this is from Ren, mm, and it's lovely. Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti Fatigue Bath Oil. It sounds like a pond. It does, but it smells amazing like all Ren products do. I mean, smell that, you could be by the sea. You could be... Oh, that's really good. Isn't it lovely? It's, it, it just reminds me of like, every amazing spa that I've been into as well. Well, it's just, this just does remind me of the seaside. And it's actually, what it's supposed to do is just, um, uh, when it comes to says anti-fatigue, anti it's more about cell fatigue and the fact that our cells our skin cells are all having <laughs> to, <laughs> are all having to work so much harder because there's so much pollution in the air. So it's really just a, like a cell support, I suppose. But at the same time, it's just this beautiful, mm, could gorgeous. be in Cornwall kind of um, 
ozonic scent it's just absolutely lovely so that is super super relaxing and mm. i love it mm, I, know, I do love that too what else have i got in my goodie bag oh let's talk about something really every day yeah what's so good about this well okay so this is my um deodorant and it's actually um a women's deodorant yeah but i've used it for so many years and now nick my husband uses it too um it's good because um i sweat quite a lot which, oh. is a, which is a lovely thought. But even in the cold, I managed to sweat. And this is the only deodorant, apart from like, the, you know the really, really expensive like 12 pound ones that basically like form a layer of yeah. rock. Oh yeah, you don't armpit. want those. And you don't no. want those. I don't think those are healthy. No, you I have to sweat either. a bit. So this is just really good because um, it also says, um, oh it doesn't say on this one, but on the other one it says that it, it eliminates all like those horrible stains which I hate. Oh the yellow patches yeah. that you get. So I've not had a yellow patch in a See, long time. See it's really funny that you say this but I use a Mitchum deodorant and I've used it for... I've used that one too. Yes, the, the roll-on. The green, the green one. Yeah. yeah. And suddenly it just doesn't work as well as it used to. I think your body probably gets a bit immune to something. Do you think? think? You don't think so. they've changed ingredients or something? Maybe, but maybe you should investigate. But anyway, this Nivea is literally the best and they they keep on changing the um, scents and stuff. So the first one that I ever used was actually really quite feminine. I don't mind that, but this one, a new green one, which is called Fresh Original. Thanks Nivea. Um, this one's actually really nice. So that's literally what I use every day. Yay! Good, good for the basics. What's right, that? now I guess this might come in as a basic, but I promise I you, this. I literally, don't, honestly, it's this is like thing. the oldies, the oldies so doing their review. Bath oil, and now you've got. I've a, got another bath oil to come. How many baths? Well, do you we're have? talking about every day, but I love a bath, yeah, and I want it to be nice, that. and I'm not having a bath that's anything less than satisfactory. Baths are a massive faff. Oh yeah. They are. I never bath. So it ha See, loads of people don't. And I've got a really nice bath that our previous owners left us. No, I, well, ours is like just a... We've got a roll top. Oh, I cannot. I'm too short for a roll top. I'm too long for the roll top. <laughs> the funny thing is, when you go to a hotel and you've got this massive, lovely, long bath, I'm sort of like You're flat like on my back. No, 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 this is not no. nice. I'm really not. I can't. I either have to be sitting upright. There's no. I feel that you should just be at five foot three. Baths yeah. are, tend to be You're made. You're around in those. Yeah, things. yeah, really, really. Uh, but you so, can't be an Epsom salt, can you? No, this is Dr. Teal's, and actually, um, it's kind of it's eucalyptus and spearmint, and I mm. love spearmint. I don't like peppermint. I love. But I love spearmint. Well, I don't love eucalyptus, because but it sort of does the job. But uh, if I'm doing a lot of walking, because I do walk quite a lot and then my legs are achy, I get in this and I can just almost feel like a little sort of tingle in my legs as just all the tension goes, goes out. Away. But it's super, this is a new one to me and it's just good old It looks like Epsom a bag of dishwasher salt. It does. I wonder if you could use it oh. in the dishwasher. And all your plates are coming out smelling like eucalyptus. Minty plates. <laughs> Minty fresh plates. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just want to talk about this face scrub, it's Clinique for Men. Oh, Max likes that. It's, I, personally for me, it's the best face scrub, not because it's not a face wash, it's a face scrub, there's a difference, that I've used, and I've used a lot of face scrubs. And this one, um, it's got a really, really fine grade in it. Because you don't want a, a really abrasive grade. No, you don't, That's actually it actually not good hurts. For your skin. Yeah. And this one doesn't hurt, but it tingles as well, so you put it, you put it on in the shower, you leave it on for a minute, and it actually starts tingling, and for me, that, for me, that feels like it's doing something. Shall I tell you something? My son, Max, um, he, Simon knows Max, mm. he said, oh, by the way, mum, we need some more face wash in the shower. And I went, okay, I'll put some in. And I went upstairs to put some new stuff in. And he has basically used all of my by Terry. <laughs> oh my God. 50 quid a tube. I'm He's used the lot, much that is. literally, it's as the daily. I was just like, oh no. Oh, man. I know, I know, I know. So my final bathing, sounds like I spend all my time in the bath. Well, I'd like to, but I actually don't. Is lovely Aromatherapy Associates uh, oh, bath oil. And this is open space. I think it's at Space NK. 
Um, this is so expensive. It's like 40 quid a bottle, but it is a small bottle. It is the best beyond all shadow of a doubt. How it, long have you had that bottle? Oh, not long. Oh, uh, I thought couple you were of say weeks. Like months. No, a couple of weeks, something like that. Oh, you have a lot of baths. But well, no, because I'm a bit generous with it. Oh, you know, you just yeah, because it if in. I'm doing it, I'm doing it properly. Oh, wow. I know. And this is proper aromatherapy. Proper and aromatherapy. Uh, just as a bit of background, Aromatherapy Associates, their founder, Geraldine, um, very sadly died last year. And the brand's been in a bit, bit of some flux, but at a recent industry event called CEW, they scooped five awards, which is a record. So I hope that's what's putting them back on track. Right. Because I'm, honestly, this stuff, I would say it's, it's practically medicine. It does smell for, amazing. Soothing your soul. Yeah, yeah. totally. A hundred percent. So while James, like, you're basically uber relaxed the whole time. You take like a million baths, <laughs> you've got great skin or like oil to take off your makeup. Yeah. And that's what yeah. you spend your time doing. But it isn't though, Simon. What I think you have to I've just been writing about this actually. That we you should film one in the bath. Oh <laughs> That would be next level weird. It really would, but I bet people have done it. Bet Remember that have. Sex and City episode when Trey, when um, as Charlotte walks in to Trey having a bath and his mum, Bunny, is, that, is sitting on the toilet talking to him in the bath. Oh. Oh, frightening. I would never. Frightening. No, no. Mm. I don't like really anyone in the bathroom. No, do I. At all. Dog. Dog. Dog's all right. And Jackie Collins, book, not woman. So yeah. She's dead. I have my iPad. Mm. I still like a book. Yeah, I know. Um, I just want to, I've got a few more left, but I'm just going to rattle through, can I rattle through like a couple really quickly? Um, I just want to talk about this Balance Me, the Wonder Eye Cream. I don't know if you've ever used it. I basically had really, I came out from holiday and I'd obviously used a suntan lotion that didn't agree with me on my face. And um, I came back and I had the itchiest, sore, red eyes I've mm. ever had in my life, under my eyes and all really? around them. And I started using La Roche-Posay and it didn't do anything. It just dried it out more. And then I, rem I remember getting this and I put it on and literally in a day, it was like so much better. That's good to know. So this is amazing, I love it. Mario um, Badescu, do you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, this is, it's a rose, um, it's actually with aloe herbs and rose water facial spray. It's a spritz, I just love a spritz. I know, Can I give you a spritz? yeah, please. Oh, that is nice. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's really lovely. And I took it on the I took it on holiday with me, and you just you know just a casual. It's spritz. very cooling as well, it's isn't it? My favourite. Very oh, nice. Love it. Very nice. And just lastly, um, seventy two hair, the blow dry cream. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit of a fro going on at the moment. I'm growing my hair, um, and this just like tames it all down and actually just makes it really soft and lovely. It hasn't worked today though, has it? Mm. I didn't or actually it? use it today, no. Oh. <laughs> but I do use it most of the time. And I know you're a fan of 72 hair. Oh my God, their, their mask is just Isn't it incredible? beyond. Yeah. yeah beyond. Um, so yeah, that's my last one. And there we have it. Already. Our favourite. So just a very quick round up of our favourite things. Just to, be just back. to give you some ideas, yeah. Anyway, yeah. until anyway. next time. All right, bye bye.